Hi, welcome to O2 Tara Talks, conversations about one thing you can do right now to stay healthy in your body and mind. And first, a little disclaimer, today's talk is for informational purposes only. Consult your practitioner for guidance specific to your situation. And now that we've gotten that out of the way, I am so happy to introduce to you Brita Miller. She is a strategic storyteller. Frida, can you tell us in one sentence how you help people? So I help people through the power of story and uh, being, using humor and creativity to carry on, to deal with stressful situations. And uh, I, I focus a lot on family caregivers and how they can uh, carry, uh, how they can be their best self to help other people. Well, I think that this is an excellent topic for right now while we're all under undue stress because of this pandemic. So let me then ask you, uh, what is one thing we can do right now? One thing right now is there's two magic words that I use, and that is, to, is, is space and grace. And we need to give ourselves space, literally space between ourselves and other people but in our family, in our household, if you are living with people that you love dearly, and they're wonderful people, but honestly, 24-7, you need a little space. <laughs> Absolutely. And grace. Grace. Think about it. When you're in the grocery store and you see someone acting rudely or um, uh, just being inconsiderate, and you know you need to keep your distance, and you know you shouldn't be greedy, and you see someone doing something that you think is just bad behavior, I try to give them a little grace and recognize that if they're acting out, maybe they're frightened. Maybe there are circumstances that they're dealing with that I have no idea. And instead of judging or getting more upset about it, I, I think about that. Um, and grace in terms of our family, when people, again, are uh, being snippy or short-tempered or uh, just acting out to recognize we're all dealing with a lot of feelings and we're either exhausted, frustrated, um, and just feeling sad and, right. and to give ourselves grace and space. And those are the two things that we need massive quantities of right now. Well, I love it because the space, you're absolutely right. Since so many of us are home for much longer periods than we ever thought we might be, <laughs> we definitely need to give space. And the grace thing I think is so important as well is as you described, you know, people will be feeling different things at different times and everybody has a different way of express expressing it too, right? I mean, some people may want to kind of go into themselves to get some sanctity. Other people may need to send that outward and it may come. And, and the best thing we can do is just sort of be graceful in it and say, hey, okay, maybe that person is having their moment right now and let me just exactly. let it be instead of engaging in, in a not so helpful way. Well, I really love that. So can you then, um, can you tell us what are some roadblocks that we might encounter as we try really to, to treat, to, to go forth with giving people space and, and grace? Well, roadblocks are uh, just uh, not recognizing that and being so wrapped up in our own mindset and taking it personally. You know, thinking, oh, I just can't believe it. they, did you believe that? They cut me off or that person, you know, did this. They weren't, don't take it personally. Recognize that other people are dealing with their own situations. Um, and then also not, not communicating clearly. That's a roadblock. I mean, if you want to have a lie down, if you want to have some time and, and, in, um, and take a nap and you, your family doesn't know that. Or, or they don't recognize that this is what's what's going on, and you close the door, then the next thing that happens, someone's knocking on the door, say, are you in there? Are you sleeping? And you <laughs> might get frustrated, say, well, I was until you woke me up, right? Yeah, right. Um, so that lack of communication is uh, is one of the roadblocks. And then, and then grace is, um, it takes a, a maturity. I think it takes a sense of maturity to be, to have that, to find that grace within you to forgive others for bad behavior or ignorance or their own selfishness and recognize that, that they're not their best selves. And, and mm -hmm. that's really the whole point is that how can we find ways to be our best self so that we can respond in the best possible way to the stress 
to this worry and to this really, really tough situation. Yeah. You know, that, that reminds me too of, um, you know, just situations where my, with my kids, where outside of this, you know, where we've just had a stressful time where I particularly might've been feeling the stress and I've spoken in a way that was different than I normally would, you know, more strongly or, and I could see that, you know, the, the effect on them, like, well, you know, I was talking like that kind of thing. Yeah. And then yeah. later on, I would make sure that I went to them and said, you know what? I was really stressed at that moment. And my words came out in a different way than I normally like to speak to you. And, and I apologize for that. You know, mm -hmm. and it really would help kind of just, it's like a good reset, you know, and, and, and sort of, it, you know, it, it, I think it allows the grace thing, grace for ourselves too. Because sometimes you may have that, you hit that point and then, you can go ahead and and, and you uh, could do a rewind and, and what a great teachable moment to say to your kids that you know what i i didn't behave in I, I didn't say that in the way that in the very best possible way and i apologize because i was cranky or i was really tired or mm -hmm. um and and you know what i'm just i'm sorry and be graceful about it and say because you know how much i love you and it was really important that we get this done in this way and and i i just didn't speak in the best way so I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, and I agree. It's a, a great teachable moment because we're, you know, we're all likely to have those stressful moments. And if we can show our kids that, hey, even if you do get to the point where you, you know, behave under because of the stress in a way you wouldn't normally, you can always go and apologize and, and help. So absolutely. Yeah. So so can you and it's about being authentic, right? Being yourself. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us then, Brita, um, what can we do to overcome these roadblocks? Well, funny you <laughs> should ask. <laughs> so, I have an idea that I love because, you know, I like to bring humor into solving particularly tricky situations because it can take the edge out of, out of it. So not only do I find this to be amusing, but it's a craft opportunity for the entire family. Okay. Um, Sounds good. What I do. Yeah. So you know, I travel a lot and when you're, you stay in hotels, you see those wonderful little do not disturb signs that they put on the doorknobs, right? At hotels, yeah. they work. People stay away. They leave you alone. And I thought, why can't we have that at home? You know, the example of you're trying to take a nap and someone's knocking on the door. Right. So I made my own. Okay. And you too can make this at home. Get a piece of cardboard and I'm going it, to, it's backwards, but I'm going to read it to you. So you know what it says. Get a piece of cardboard like this is eight inches by about three inches. Cut a hole up at the top and then cut a slit. Okay, so this will go over the doorknob. And here's the key. If you make it funny and you use fancy writing, you can say rude things. That's the rule. You can say rude things as long as it looks pretty. So <laughs> it says here, go away, which is the best go away <laughs> and the note is i'm taking a break before i break mm. and what i say is i have been granted permission to rest so that i will be my best self please find a safe way to amuse yourself until i am available thank you <laughs> i so love it I you love don't necessarily it. have to write all this on there but even little children can learn oh the blue door hangers on we better leave mommy alone Yes. You know, yes. Could work. So if you, right. if you, if you just have a busy household and you just need to have a symbol for people to know, okay, I just need some time. I yeah. need some space. Give me some I space. love it. Yeah. I think it's Make perfect it. because it, it does allow you to get the space that you need, like you said, so you can then be your best self. And you know what I'm thinking too, if people do have very young children um, who are not yet literate, they could even use colors you know uh like a, sure. a red one right because most kids know red means stop on a traffic light so yeah and maybe you could even condition them have a green one so that they're like you know what does green mean what does red mean you know and, and really help them yeah. there is the opportunities are just endless and and i think the whole point is that it's it is communication it's a way to communicate so that people understand that okay i need to alter my behavior because someone else need something they need privacy they need quiet they need just some alone time and right. to and and you know i don't think you want to abuse this 24 hours of saying mommy needs alone time is probably not going to work <laughs> somebody might catch on that it's not really an authentic thing <laughs> yeah right <laughs> 
mom, you've been in there for four days. <laughs> yeah, it was a long week. I need four days. <laughs> Are we going to have dinner or something? <laughs> Oh, that's great. Well, I, I absolutely love uh, everything you've said, you know, just really that space and grace idea can stay in our minds and help us, you know, when we start to feel any kind of tension or whatever, just use that as a little mantra almost, and then really having something concrete to put on the doorknob to send a signal to everybody that you right now are taking some space for yourself. I think it's a wonderful thing that we can do right now to help us really stay healthy in body and mind. Thank you so much, Brita. I really appreciate you talking here today. My pleasure, Tara. Thank you so much. Be well and give yourself some space and grace. Absolutely will. Thank you again.